All right, guys, you know what time it is. Get some more meat in the freezer. <laughs> Okay, we got our set up again. There's our chicken plucker. Um, there's the killing cones. Over here we got the uh, scolder. And then the table set up. Chairs in the shade, because it is supposed to get up to 90 today. Yay. And then over there is the cooler. So I'll be carrying the chickens over there and putting them into the cooler. So that way they'll rest. But uh, Donald is now going out over to the meat chickens and uh, bringing in our first couple of ones so we can get this done. All right, I want to show you guys what our process is, how we process the birds. We've got videos on how we kill them. Um, I'll get Amy to put a link down in the description to our kill videos, or maybe put a card up at the end of this video for it. But um, we got the killing cones here, and we do, you know, just like everybody else, you pull the head down, one quick slice. I cut the head all the way off. I don't leave the head on there. Um, but then we let them bleed out. These are a couple of the smaller ones here. And then we bring them over here to my homemade scolder that I made out of a uh, old hot water tank that had a hole in it. And this is set for 150 degrees. And I hold them in underneath the water for about 20 seconds. It seems to work pretty good for us. Uh, that might have been a little bit long, 20 seconds, but it was approximately that. And you'll notice that the feathers pull off real easy. You don't want to hold them in there too long or else you'll scald the skin real bad and it'll start cooking it. Then we come over here. And we, you want to hold the... I can hold the hose right here. Video? All right, this is, man, if you guys can afford to get you one of these, which we didn't start off with the plucker. We started off hand plucking, and then we went to the one that goes in the drill and spins around, and Amy would hold the drill, and I'd put the, ch and it ma that'd make a big mess. You can mm -hmm. see it in some of our videos. Mm -hmm. But it worked, but this is like a game changer. If you can afford one of these, if this is the only thing you can afford, and not to make a scalder or just, you know, use a big pot to, to scald it, these chickens. But you only have enough money to get one of these pluckers, get one of these pluckers, especially if you're gonna do more than five or six, 10 chickens. This one, he still has a little bit more. We go a little longer on this one. There we go. That's not too bad. It's under 30 seconds. It depends on how long I scold them for, but you know, within 15 to 30 seconds, you got a naked chicken. Yeah. And then I'm gonna show them all the feathers come out of the shoot hole here. And then what I do is while he's doing the next phase, I kind of clean it off so that way the water runs out and that there's no you know clog right there. And then Donald goes over here. And then the next phase, I start off cut off the feet you pick right here you grab I grab a hold of the feet and it's right here between the joints just a real quick slice and I do both of them at the same time we do we only do two chickens at a time because it's just the two of us so if you had more people then you could do a lot more yeah. at a time 
faster processing. Amy's feeling a little under the weather today. She's not quite up to par. She got her uh, COVID vaccine the other day. Yeah. And she just got, a, you know, it kind of makes you feel like blah for a day or two. Then I cut the back off, the tail. And I get up here. Yeah. And then I get this little crawl. It's kind of stuck to the side. And usually I don't worry about the skin up here, but we're keeping some of these smaller ones for barbecues and roasters. So, but, so I'm trying to leave as much skin to cover that up. I just pull that, the rest of that throat out. And then cut that off and that goes into the gut bucket. I am not showing the gut bucket. You don't want to show the gut bucket? No. Nope. My then stomach's squeezy. Come around here is. on this side so they can see. My stomach's a squeezy. And I'm not, I'm not a, a, a squeamish person. And we've done a few of these. I have no problems. To, but today, mm, I'm yeah. still feeling under the weather, so. so. I like to go right underneath the butthole. Don't know how it's a, it's a sphincter, whatever you want to call it. I don't think they actually have a sphincter. But I stab down under there, and then I grow up both sides of it. And you notice I hold on to that. And then I get my fingers up underneath of it, underneath where the, the exit is and I just cut that skin and then I like to kind of try to pull that out a little bit well, I pulled that too hard but I pull that out so that any of the poop like that doesn't get on the meat I mean you can rinse it off if it does yeah it's not, not that big... big a deal but just try to avoid that part yeah and then I just pull it out And a little bit of the leakage from the intestines come down. Just give that a spray. Give that a little blast. And then I go in with a heart and all that. And then my little lung scraper that I made. <laughs> These little ones are hard for me to get my hands in. the lungs I like to go in through the neck give it the first blast spray it to it to run pretty clear pull off some of this excess connection connecting tissues A good spray off and there's your nice processed chicken now you can see there might be a one or two little pin feathers left on this but that's where my job comes in i set it over here for amy and amy pops those out mm -hmm. and they go on to our cooler way over there there's the cooler so we're going to get back to finishing up the rest of these chickens yep and we'll show you what we ended up with. And like I said, they're really easy to pull out. I mean, the chicken plucker really plucks it good. Yep. 
So I just go over it real quick, make sure like there's a few right here. I just pull them out, the little pin feathers. And that's it. All right, wanted to show you guys this. Donald took like a, a spoon that's for like milkshakes, bent it, and then carved some notches in it with a dribble. Yep. All right, so he's using this as a lung scraper because when he's gutting the chickens, his hands are very large, so he has a hard time getting all the organs out. Normally, I double check just to make sure. So, um, we do have some these chickens ones here. Are a little smaller. Yeah, these smaller ones. I have trouble getting my big meat hooks in. Your meat hooks. I just scrape out the lungs. How'd and it work? Pretty good. We should have. <laughs> we can't get the camera wet, honey. <laughs> there goes the lungs. Nice. Now double check it. Yeah, let's see. Oh, not bad. You still got a little bit in there, yeah, but that's little. a lot better than that worked really well. A little lung right there. You know, but for... Uh, Did you get a little bit of that even when you're by your... Yeah. Your <laughs> Two clean chickens. Nice. All righty. What, another 35 to go? <laughs> yeah. 37. 37 to go. All right, guys. Uh, we borrowed this saw from my uncle. And uh, we are cutting up the chickens. I've already got most of them cut up. We've cut, we're cutting them up into thighs, wings, legs, um, breasts, and necks. And necks we will use for uh, stock. And let me tell you what, this is so easy to do. We have kept a few to, to roast in the oven or to barbecue, but it is just this simple to cut up a chicken. like zip 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 and I was going slow there for you guys yeah he's been I have to make him stop because once the bang gets full he can't really keep processing and I'm not bagging him fast enough so I have to stop and I put the bags in the freezer for her. but yeah we're almost done with these chickens and we got three we did how many chickens were there 39 chickens 39 Cornish cross chickens and then we got three turkeys yep so we kind of had a we started off with uh, 50 of the Cornish cross but uh, they took longer in shipping than expected because of how the post office was yeah you know, was, we uh, lost well we lost two but then 
from day three until the day they went outside, it was just like every morning we found another one gone, another one gone, another one gone. So And we kept on plenty of bedding and we kept on plenty of I think they just they got weak during the shipping. Yeah. And but you know, you, you can never tell. Yeah. We don't blame the the hatchery for this. I no. Mean, it just happens. Yeah, so but uh What's he meant? Huh, Simon? Yeah. And what is it, Cement? Yeah, pretty girl. Huh? We'll see what the cleanup like this on this thing is. Oh yeah, be. that's gonna be fun. Yeah. I have. Uh, good thing I got a lot of cleaning Clorox. Yep. <laughs> And we uh, got to make sure we send it back just as clean as when we got it. Yep. <laughs> so.